What are we doing when we assemble as the saints? Well, this is where I'm going to turn it back on its head. Um, in most churches in America, if I walked in, I wouldn't know what they were doing, to be honest with you. Because we have left behind the doctrine of sola scriptura in the church. So churches are basically based on the cleverness and pragmatism and charismatic personality of leaders. And it's done by entertaining people or by keeping them busy. You see, people want to have meaning in their life. They, they, they either want to be entertained or they want to have some kind of meaning. So you make them busy. You make them part of a machine. You make them part of a vision of a charismatic leader. And you get them all headed in the same direction. That's why, you know, a 60-year-old accountant for Walmart ends up joining a, bank, a biker game and, gang and going to Sturgis, you know, and hanging out with all the... The, the people. Why? Because he's looking for something. So you can build a church on all kinds of things that aren't biblical. And that is the great problem. A lot of the excuses that are happening today, there is no excuse, but they're founded upon the fact that pastors do not fear God and are not managing God's bride according to the dictates he's given them. Furthermore, a lot of pastors are building their own kingdoms on the bones of unconverted church members. So that's why we've got the mess. On the day of judgment, do not, do not fear for the atheist so much, the thief, the murderer. If you want to be afraid for someone on the day of judgment, be afraid for those who carried the title pastor. Let me give you an example. I gave this example last night. Let's say that a king had a bride. He loved her. He dressed her in white. She was pure and precious to him. And the people admired her for her, for her virtue, for her merit. And the king has to go on a long journey. And so he, he uh, tells his steward, he calls his steward in and he says, here are the directions and you are to care for my bride. You do not deviate from this, not, not one jot or tittle. And when I come back, you'll be rewarded. Or I'll come back and you will be severely punished. Keep this book, these instructions with regard to her. Well, after a few years, this steward realizes that the people are losing their loyalty in the king. And they're no longer concerned about the bride because, well, she's just prudish. She's old fashioned. So he takes her and dresses, takes off her beautiful white garment and replaces it with something really sensual paints her face like a prostitute, and then marches her up and down the kingdom and uses this new look to attract carnal men back into the kingdom. When that king comes back, there, there are no words to describe what he will do to that steward. And when Jesus Christ comes back, there are no words to describe what he will do to many of these men who call themselves pastors who have done to his bride exactly what the steward did in that parable I just